was a young man in a village. He lived in prosperity and happiness until the age of 20. He did not give much importance to God, but he was not an atheist either. After the age of 20, he faced so many sufferings and challenges in his life. He lost his parents. He was depressed and felt loneliness and emptiness in life. He began to question God for all these sufferings. He hated God for giving sorrows to people. Later, he began to question the existence of God and he became an atheist. He conveyed his ideas and thoughts to other people. People gathered to listen to his speech and they praised him for his wisdom. But still he felt emptiness and loneliness. At some point, he began to wish if somebody is there to support him, if somebody is there to love him always, if somebody is there like God. He wished if God was there. One day he met a wise man. The wise man had a strong faith in God. They discussed their ideas each other. The wise man could not convince him that there is God. The young man could not make the wise man an atheist either. One day the young man was sitting beside a river. When he stood up to return home, he tripped on a stone and fell. He became so angry and he threw the stone away. The stone fell in the river. After several days, the young man again met the wise man. The wise man gave him a gift. That was a stone which was beautifully painted. The young man placed the stone in the showcase. That night he heard a voice. The voice was from the stone. The stone asked him, should I hate you or love you? He did not understand the meaning of the question. The stone began to tell its story. One day I was sitting beside a river, enjoying the beauty of the river, flowers and breeze. I was shy because I was ugly. Then you hurt me and threw me into the river. I hit on to the rocks in the river and injured. The river made me to flow and I faced new rocks and new sufferings. I strongly hated you all these times. But one day someone took me out of the river. They said wonderful and I became extremely happy. They painted upon me and they sold me for good price. You are the one behind all these. And now you placed me in your showcase as a valuable asset. Now tell me, should I hate you or love you? The young man could not answer anything. He went to the wise man and told everything. The wise man explained that like you in your life, the stone was thrown into the river of sufferings. He had to face so many challenges, but the river was always with the stone. Guiding, touching, molding and purifying the stone. The river led the stone through the sufferings, but it saved him. Imagine if the stone traveled all these routes without the river, what would happen to the stone? The river symbolizes the God's love. The young man accepted, but he said that the God could have loved us without giving sorrows. Then we can love him always. Why does God give sorrows if he loves us? The wise man replied, without sorrows, we will not think of God. The stone and you were sitting beside the river, but the stone did not think of you until you threw it into the river. Later he began to love you when the sorrows became a blessing. The same thing happened in your life too and in everyone's life. Dear brothers and sisters, the God has collected your tears in a bottle. So don't worry. He is with you always.